Good day, this video today is a continuation of uh, drawing the dream plans. And what we're going to look at here is uh, tying in uh, or and or drawing in our fixtures that are located in our lowest level, our basement of our homes and or buildings. And the two that we're going to look at today is, uh, we've already looked at, sorry, we've already looked at floor drains. So the two we're going to look at today will be our... Uh, laundry trays or some people might call them laundry tubs and we're also going to look at uh, hooking up a washroom and in our scenario we're going to be using a three-piece washroom so first up will be our laundry tray and as some people call it our laundry tub so here we have a an outline of a drain plan that needs to be completed. Uh, on our right hand side of our page we'll notice that there is a line going out and it says sand, that's the sanitary uh, building drain and once of course once it goes one meter off the foundation it turns into the sanitary building sewer. So what we're doing is we're going to be um, hooking up our all our sanitary um, but what our focus today will be on as I said before our laundry tray. So around the building we have a number of circles um, the ones that have WS are our waste stacks. The ones that have our SS are our soil stacks. And the other circle that has a FD inside it, that is our floor drain. Um, around the outside of the building, we'll notice there's a dashed line that goes all the way around the outside of the rectangular building. And near the bottom of the page, that dashed, dashed line comes into the building underneath the foundation. This is our foundation drain. Uh, that would need to be hooked up either to our sanitary or to our storm, um, depending on the situation here. Um, at the top of our page, you might have noticed there are two uh, squares, items, uh, back to back, side by side. And inside the inner square, you'll notice, and each one has a little circle. So this is to represent the drain. And this actual two squares together is representing our laundry tray, or as some call it, the laundry tub and because there are two squares with two little circles with two little drains inside this means it's a double compartment so it has two bowls to our laundry tray um, so that's very important to keep in mind as we will be hooking it up uh, to the sanitary in this next picture here um, it shows it our, our lavatory sorry our laundry tray has been hooked up um, at the very top of the page you will have noticed a circle a green circle um, this circle could actually technically should be red uh, as an open circle because as we're looking at anything below the floor so it just as it comes to the top of the floor it would still be considered a red circle and then further up when I got to the TY where the actual drain from the double compartment laundry tray would enter um, on the inlet side of that TY, that's when it would potentially turn green and become a vent, so the green circle. So it, technically, it should just be a red open circle. You'll notice the line uh, is located, the circle is located right behind the drain of the right hand uh, compartment of the double compartment sink. And that is because uh, typically the left hand or the right hand, they'd be joined together. So in this case, our left hand is joining in with our right hand into a trap all above ground then going back into the wall um, once it goes into the wall that's where it enters the ty and starts to go down as the drain being red up through the top of the inlet side of the, of the ty would be our vent um, so that's what we're showing is our circle and then eventually at the bottom once the the drain went down through the down through the drain uh, ty um, it could go out through a 90 and the 90 could be should be spun on a 45 degree angle so that that line would go directly into a Y fitting on the horizontal branch that's coming out of the soil stack, the base of the soil stack. You also know that I have connected in the floor drain, again showing its trap its trap arm going across into a 45, into a Y, into that horizontal branch that came out of the base of the soil stack. 
Um, the other thing that I have now added moving forward is I have put my three dash blue lines and my TSP, which stands for our trap seal primer. This will let us know that we need to have a trap seal primer by code. The blue line isn't actually hooked up to anything because that, that water uh, supply would be have to hook up some kind of water supply to provide uh, water for the trap. Uh, but we don't have to necessarily draw where it's going. We just need to know we need to install one and then determine where we're going to get it from. More than likely, we would grab that source from our laundry tray um, since it's close by off the supply um, that goes into the faucet for the laundry tray. You'll also notice that I put my CO for my clean out at the base of the soil stack. Again, with the soil stack, this one would not be the main stack in the drawing, so I have not sized it. Um, we need to know what the load is and what the size of this horizontal branch will be based on that, and that will determine what size our clean out. All we need to know is we need a clean out until we have further information. Uh, we can't size it. Lastly, that horizontal branch goes into a 45 into a Y, ties into the building drain, which goes out and leaves the building. On the way out of the building, we have drawn in a 4-inch clean-out as per code. We need to have a 4-inch clean-out on the building drain that cleans out, actually cleans the building sewer on the outside. <laughs> and both of those need to be a minimum of 4 inches as per code, so that now dictates that our clean out will be four inches. And you'll notice how I've drawn it, a uh, straight line across, a line coming down straight, into a 45, into a Y, because that's the way it would be hooked up so that it could come flush with the floor. This next drawing, this is a, just a, a sort of a split screen, the purple line diagonal there, down the middle of the page there, just to separate the two different views. Um, they're both basically showing the same thing. We have the drain plan on one side, the left-hand side, the isometric on the right-hand side. Um, just to kind of show it uh, isometrically, kind of more of a three-dimensional kind of look. Uh, we have all the same stuff. Um, the only thing that I didn't add into this one in the laundry tray was the, uh, the pipe coming over from the left-hand side and uh, tying in with the other sink and then into the trap. Otherwise, I have the same stuff. I have the line going across on my is isometric little squiggly line there. This will represent that we need to have a clean out. Usually, it has to be a minimum of three quarter plug. Uh, but in this case, put a line across, which usually means a union trap, uh, which covers our need for our code. Now, what we're looking at is going to be looking at is a three piece uh, washroom, bathroom. We're going to have our water closet our bathtub, and our domestic lavatory. So in this particular drawing here, this uh, drain plan drawing, um, down at the bottom left-hand corner, we have our solid line and our dotted line. So solid line meaning our sanitary, dotted line meaning our storm. Uh, if this drawing was to be done completely, it would be a, a separate system because we have the two separate lines leaving the building. But what we're going to focus on on the right-hand side of the page here is our three-piece washroom. Just outside our washroom, outside our dark gray wall, is a soil stack, which is just located outside of that uh, wall there. And in this particular drawing, this soil stack is the furthest soil stack from the sanitary that leaves the building. So this soil stack would be normally classified as our main stack. Uh, but inside our actual washroom that has a wall built around it, we have our water closet first, which is closest to the soil stack. Then we have our domestic lavatory in the middle. And at the far end of the washroom, we have our bathtub. Also in our washroom, another fixture we do have in our washroom is another floor drain. And we also have a floor drain out in the middle of the uh, basement as well. Um, so we have two floor drains. But again, we'll be focusing on this washroom by itself, including the soil stack in our next slide. So we have the soil stack, which has been now has a line coming out of it. It's going all the way. It's going to be heading towards the, the exit. Uh, I roughly sketched in the word CO because it does have to have a clean out. Um, as I mentioned in the previous uh, slide there, uh, we should label this four inches. I haven't labeled it four inches, but uh, for our purposes, we don't really need to know this, but it would be the uh, four inch clean out because it would be the considered the main stack. 
anytime you're doing a drain plan, it's good to uh, figure out how you're going to do it, and then when it comes to venting as well. So, um, what I have decided to do is the, the way I'm going to show you the connecting the three fixtures, the water closet, the lab, and the bathtub, is using a wet vented method, which will use less piping. Um, but we're going to focus mainly on the red pipe, which is our sanitary line. So we'd have our line coming out of the front of our water closet, like so, turning it into a 45, into the Y, into the line of the branch and or building drain that comes out the base of the soil stack. Once I have accomplished that, I would have my circle, which represents my pipe coming up out of the ground. And again, <coughs> uh, I've colored this uh, green, ideally because it's just coming out of the ground and that we're only showing the, the, the drain plan view here, which should be red because it eventually would be green as, as the vent. But anyways, the drain is uh, located directly behind the drain of the sink. That's because the outlet pipe would come out of the drain into a trap, into the wall, into a T-Y, and all that piping would be above ground so we don't draw it in. So we generally just have a circle behind showing an open circle because there would be a, a drain and a vent coming up through the ground. So again, we have our line coming off that. We have it spun on a 45 degree angle, which would tie directly into a Y into the, what would be a three inch line coming out of the water closet. Our next step would then to be to tie our bathtub. Our bathtub would have an overflow that would tie into the drain, into a trap, again, all above ground, potentially. Um, and then we'd have our line going over. I have spun it on a little bit of a, a 45 degree. We can't see it because it's underneath the bathtub, so it's not shown. You see the 45 coming out into a 45, the line going across, and then tying into a Y onto the same line as the drain for the domestic laboratory. So what we entailed have connected up here is that from the Y where the lab connects into the water closet, all the way back up into the wall and up to the level where the uh, water starts to drain into the CY, the outlet part, sorry, the inlet part above it, um, up until that point, that would all be considered wet vent. And then anything above where the water pours in would be considered a dry vent uh, or a continuous vent in this case. And it's uh, the vent that's being shared by all fixtures at that point. And lastly, I've tied in the floor drain, again with a trap, the three dotted or three dashed blue lines, trap seal primer, T TSP. And I've tied this in with broken lines as it passes over the other lines for the the uh, domestic lab and the water closet and tied it in separately. And we'll get more further into that down the road because uh, what we're setting ourselves up potentially is for an application of, of uh, uh, unvented floor drain. So again, we'll show you the split screen here. Drain plan on one side, isometric on the other side. So again, if I could point out here, here's my trap for my lab. Trap arm goes down. So all the red part from where it starts to drain down in the wall, all the way down to the 90, all the way across to the Y where it connects with the, the, the drainage pipe for the water closet, that would be considered our wet vent. So at that point there, the lab is using it for drainage. And the other part of the pipe is being used for venting for the water closet, as well as for the bathtub that tie into it. When it gets to the point where it's green dashed lines, then it's just that's the continuous vent that they are all sharing at that point to help protect the, uh, the trap seal on their traps. And that ends our look at drawing laundry trays and washrooms onto our drain plan.